today I am sitting in my BMW 225XE also known as a mummy bill and there's something else behind me today um, we are yeah I'm, I've borrowed actually something behind me here you can see in the rear view let's see if I can just pan that over there you can see what there is a Tesla Model 3 um, so we're currently queuing up and waiting to get our charge and it just makes this look a little bit old hat to be honest so we'll have a little look and you can see why I'm mean, just turn things around so you can see what's on the panels here and then you can compare and contrast this one is a plug-in hybrid and we've got this kind of thing going on and I'm going to just get it going so that requires me to here and I'm gonna press a button here and it comes to life and tells you who you are and you select who you are and oh there we are it finds a driving position it's got one of those uh, obviously there is no handbrake on this and lots of things are run by the computer there and it'll tell you how much charge it's got in there there we are plug-in hybrid it tells you what it's got there okay this is nothing that you need to see what's going on in the Tesla Model 3 that I borrowed. Let's just remind ourselves of what's going on. We've got instrumentation here, we've got a speedometer, we've got something that tells us the revs only when we need it. Only when we need it. As you remember that I am doing all of my weekly miles on full E and I can select that on the iDrive there. This has got a lovely panoramic roof, I love it, and you can open that up. So this is what you get in a typical plug-in hybrid. Having a look now at this, all I need to do is bring my mobile phone up to this and it opens. So this is a different thing. You don't need any of got some really old hats, so let's get rid of those. Pop them in there. We're now inside the Model 3. Um, this one's the, well, it's the cheapy of the Teslas, actually. You can get some much more expensive ones, but there's lots of good stuff in here, actually. It's quite surprising. There is a panoramic sunroof. Well, there's a panoramic roof. You can see that. It doesn't open, but it does give a great sense of space. I think otherwise it feels like you would feel a little bit claustrophobic in here. So that actually help, helps to give the illusion of space. Plenty of space there in the back. So I've got two kids that are getting reasonable size now. Plenty of room in there for them, for them to do that. I haven't found the USB charging points in there. They probably are. So I need to do a little bit of looking at that. We've got a decent boot at the back and we've got a frunk front trunk and all the rest of it um, that you can fit a bit of shopping in as well so that's quite practical lots of gadgets in here it's actually very minimal as we look around so lots of things have been gotten rid of that you'd see on the um, the plug-in hybrid that I showed you just a second ago having a look round for instrumentation well there isn't any here at all gone is the speedo gone is any kind of instrumentation here so don't need to know revs because we're not going to change gear or anything like that oh no um the controllers there on the stalk you've got those this stalk here controls your uh what mode you're going to be in reverse park neutral drive and over here this is probably about as conventional as tesla, tesla actually get you have the stalk for the indicators that's there. Everything else is here. On a big tablet, everything is there. And there's lots of playing to be done with that. Just show the GPS and the car knows what's around it. It's got videos all around it so it knows what's approaching here. It even shows you the road cones if you go up to some roadworks and have a look there. It's all looking pretty minimal otherwise here. Nothing like a gear lever or a little parking flappy thing like we saw on the uh, Beamer just a second ago. Nothing like that. Um, it's all very minimal. But you really get used to it very quickly. And you, your speedo is up here. It just tells you what speed you're going. And it tells you what you need to be doing. So it's all very good and convenient. Okay, here we go. If we want to get the boot open, we are just going to tag it here. Hydraulic struts. Just Yeah, the boot just opens on some struts, really. Um, 
But you've got a decent amount of space under here where some generous cables, type 2 I think those ones are. So that's quite nice. And that is the boot. To get the front open you need to open it with your phone. So you go to controls and then, oh that one's the first button, mm -hmm. that. And then open the front. Okay. Be sure. Again, that seems, sounds quite mechanical and you can fit a little bit of shopping in there. You never know, you might be able to fit some loo rolls in there if you can find some. Child, or some maybe. pasta. No. Okay. Right. There we go. So that's the frunk. If you want to shut the car, just do it from your phone. And in go the mirrors. So those don't need to get knocked off. So that's quite nice. You'll notice the wheels are covered by some lovely dark hubcaps. Some people take them on. I like these actually. I think they're quite Blade Runner, so I'm going to keep those on there. Um, and there we have it. There is the Model 3 that I've borrowed. I like it.